And yet here, the one who looks like a son of man, who has glory, authority, and sovereign power in heaven, came as God comes, is being served in heaven with the service due only to God by all people of every nation and language. And then it says his kingdom is one that will not pass away and his dominion will never be destroyed. And as if Jesus needed to make his point any clearer, he then says you will see him sitting at the right hand of the power. That son of man will be sitting at the right hand of the power. Well, what is this? This is a reference to Psalm 110, verse 1. In Psalm 110, verse 1, it says, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand, and I will make the enemies a footstool for your feet. No one in all of Second Temple Jewish history ever claimed the right to sit next to God on His throne. Because if you were to say that, then essentially what you're saying is that God has an heir. It's like the king sitting on his throne with his son, the prince, next to him. That's what it means to sit next to God in that context. That's why Moses was never shown sitting next to God. That's why Enoch was never shown sitting next to God. Or any of the archangels. They were all shown standing next to God. Sitting next to God would be blasphemy. That would mean that they are God. Yet Jesus claims not only to be the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven, whose worship with the service due only to God, but also has the right to sit next to God on the throne. He's the heir to the throne of God. Some people will ask me, is, there, you know, is the God of Islam, the God of Christianity, the same? Um, do Muslims and Christians worship the same God? Uh, that is a charged question. What are you saying when you ask the question, is, do Muslims and Christians worship the same God? If you are saying that there is one creator of the universe who can hear, who has created Jews, Christians, Muslims, and he can hear all of them when they, when they pray to him, Yes, I agree with that. There is one God. But if you're saying that the characteristics of Allah, as Muslims understand him, are the same as the characteristics of Yahweh, as the Christians understand him, then no, not at all. Yahweh is three in one. Yahweh loves his children. We are his children. In the Quran, Allah says, I am not the father of any of you. In the Quran, Allah's love is conditional. It says he does not love the people who sin. He does not love his enemies. Chapter 60, verse 1. Allah does not love his enemies. You shouldn't love them either. That's what it says. Now the God of the Bible is something entirely different. God loves everyone. His sins is rain on the just and the unjust. Jesus died for us while, he still, while we were still sinners against him. Love your enemy. Pray for those who persecute you. If your enemy is thirsty, give him something to drink. If he's hungry, give him some food. Totally different message. Totally different image of God. So did Jesus claim to be God? Once again, I argue that we can't ever claim certainty in these matters, but if we're going to say, what's the historically most responsible and by far most responsible conclusion, I would say yes. The evidence points to the fact, even in the earliest gospel, interwoven through all the gospels, verified by the strongest criterion of historical investigation, Jesus claimed to be God. And I realize this as a Muslim, by the way. I'm not saying this to you as a Christian having done the investigation. I was one who was still reciting the five daily prayers. I was one who was leading the Jummah. I was giving the Jummah khutbah. Whenever the Imam was gone, whenever my father wasn't around, I would do the Jummah khutbah, uh, the, the Friday uh, sermon at the mosque. I was the one who would do tafsir on the hadith when, when we had no tafsir present, uh, commentary. My friends would bring to me hadith. They'd say, Nabil, what does this mean? They would come to me and I would be the one doing this. As best I could, of course, Allah knew best is what I would say. But that's as best as I could do because they were coming to me. And yet I concluded, if I'm going to be responsible here, history points to the death, resurrection, and deity of Jesus Christ. He's proved his case.